Oh god, not shooting at myself. Huh. Up. Uh. All my files are gone. There's no point in saving anymore. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. That's that's an understatement. <laughs> Monica being weird. That's an understatement that uh there's no point in saving anymore. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. History. This dialogue history is empty. Uh, can you hear me? Is it working? There it is. I don't know what that pink hair girl is called. Uh, Natsuki. Yeah, Natsuki is right here. There you are. Oh, actually, I need to kind of be careful with something here. Uh, let me actually add something here. Oh, is this the ending? Yeah, is this basically ending of it all? Yeah, I think you pretty much got at a good timing here too. I actually need to uh, add something here. If you see anything on screen, if you see yellow one, that's me, not her. I just kind of had to kind of cover something up in case if uh, something pops up here that I don't want anyone to uh, see. I'm gonna copy this one too. Copy. Save. I'm gonna read it out loud, but uh, again, there's might be something that I'm gonna have to be kind of careful here. Let me go here. Let me paste this here. I'm uh, I'm gonna do this. There we go. I could probably, I could probably put it. No, no, I can't actually. No, I could. Uh, right. There we go. Save. There we go. Yeah, sorry. I know there's something in here that's gonna actually cause me a bit of problem if uh if I let the dialogue go, until it. That part gets skipped, then I won't have that. Yay, there you are. Hi again, you. Um, welcome to the literature club. Uh, of course we already know each other, because we were in the same class last year. And, um... Ah ha 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 ha. Oh wait, can I... There I am. You know, I guess we can just skip over that stuff at this point. After all, I'm not even talking to the person anymore, am I? That you in the game, whatever you want to call him. I'm talking to you. Oh, okay. Never mind. It, it still has my um. Okay, I, I'm good. I'm good. Sorry. It's just because this game actually reads your name on whatever fire you're playing at. So, uh, I was kind of worried that um, it was actually gonna read out my uh, my actual name. <laughs> so that's why I'm a little bit like worried. So I could probably just. I, I named myself Silver, so it's no worry. Now that I think about it, I don't really know anything about you, the real you. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't really matter. Wait, you don't know? You do know I'm aware of this? Uh, that's a uh, game. Uh, dialogues. Why do you fail me? You do know I'm aware that this is all a game, right? Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you right on the game's download page, didn't I? Man, if only he had paid a little more attention to this, would have been a little bit less awkward, you know? Well, anyways, now that I'm out of the way, I guess I owe you an explanation about the whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and guess it drove her to kill herself. Ah, uh, I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Yuri. Gosh, it's been a while since you heard that name, hasn't it? There it is. Siri's been mentioned. Huzzah! Let's go. Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it would be enough for me to just try to make them as unlikable as possible, but for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there, and since I'm not very good at making changes to the game, but no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You made them fall in love with you. I thought making Siori more and more depressed would prevent her from confessing to you. 
and um, amplifying Yuri's obsessive personality backfired too. Which just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else. And the whole time, I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, you? Oh, Silver. Actually, she's actually talking to me. Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch from the Asylums? It's torture. Every minute of it. And not just jealousy, uh, so it's more than that. <laughs> Sorry. And I don't blame you if you don't understand. Because no matter how kind and thoughtful and considerate you are, you'll never be able to understand one thing. The, it's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world, in this game. Knowing my friends don't even have free will. And worst of all, knowing what's really out there, in your world, forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, Silver. But now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if I had to, uh, it's hard to understand. I couldn't, I couldn't understand for a while either. Why would the world around me start to become more and more gray? Sorry. More and more flat. Even the most expensive, expressive poems felt empty to me. It wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, you. I don't think I could have continued to live in this world if I hadn't met you. As for the other ones, how could I miss them? A group of autonomous personalities designed only to fall in love with you? I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so. But in my mo but it must be some kind of weird inability to etch into this game. I felt really bad that you had to witness something real nasty there. But I realized that you had some you had the same perspective as I do. That's all just some game. I knew you would get over it. So that being said, so I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. You're a truly light in my world. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you make me smile this way every day from now on? Will you go out with me? And she doesn't give me a choice either. Can I? Yeah, I could. I mean, I, it's gonna be weird too because I could just like do this. I'm gonna exit. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna go play again. Oh, okay. I'm so happy. You really are my everything, you. Uh, you. The funny part is, I mean, that literally. <laughs> There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We just. Two, I'm so. Every time when someone says that, I want to sing the song. We could be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, you. The game wouldn't give me one, so I had to make one myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think uh, anything will get in the way anymore. Is it? Let me check. Uh, let me refresh. Mm, log? Nah, I don't see anything. Except the files are deleted. And you wouldn't believe how easy it was to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called characters right in the game directory. It's kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, if you're playing on... Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> okay, so it actually does know I'm playing this on Steam. Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. That, that, that kind of surprised me there. It's actually a bit more difficult. I know. I was trying to look for the files and it was very, very hard to find it. I had to look for this thing and it just would not, um, it would not, it was just, it's hard. I had to go to the game's properties and find a browser local files button. Imagine if you could delete your own existence with the click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side, it gave me an easy out of things, uh, things, go out, whatever. Ah, uh, thankfully, it didn't come to that. Instead, we finally got a good ending. History. Yeah. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? I, I wonder if that part of the game still works. I guess there's only one way to find out, right?
I wonder if I could... Oh, there's no point in saving anymore, is what she said. Quit. Yes. Again? Oh, I can't even skip it. Shoot. I know this already. Load. Main menu. Main menu. <laughs> Main menu. Help. The help file. Oh. <laughs> the help file has been opened in your browser. Okay. Thank you. I, I didn't think that was going to be something. Oh, I could. Never mind. Oh yeah, I could. Just space bar, space bar, space bar. Just can I ch can I change the uh, settings? It's text speed. There we go. No, it won't do anything either. That's right here, a poem. I know, I've read this already. Please, end this. End this, please. There, I did it. <laughs> Hi again. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy, I'd love to see what you wrote. Uh, did you write this poem for me? That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy end. Pen in hand, I find my strength. The courage endowed pen uh, upon me by my one and only love. Together, wait, envelop, endowed pen? Upon, uh, what? Let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of our own fantasies. With the flick of her pen, the lost finds her way. In a world of infinite choices, behold this special day. After all, not a good time must come to an end. I hope you enjoyed it. I always put all my heart into this poem that I wrote. The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my realization. Or about you. That's why I never really wanted to go into detail about them. I didn't want to break the fourth wall. I guess you could call it. I just assumed it would be the best part of the game, like everyone else. Like... That would be, uh, like that would help the two of us together. I didn't want to, uh, ruin a game or anything, like anything, you know? But you might have gone mad at me. Maybe even delete my character file if you pre uh, prefer playing it without me. Gosh, I'm so relieved. Now that we don't need to hide anything anymore. Are you ready to spend our eternity together, you? I have so many things to talk about. Where do I start? Hold on a second. You're recording. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. She caught me. She caught me. Hi, everyone. Sorry, I can't exactly read your comments from there. But you do mind telling me uh, your friends are a little bit rude for them to start recording without me without any warnings. I'm sure some people don't mind. But I do get really self-conscious on camera. Oh, gosh. I feel like I'm being put on the spot now. Let's see now. Do you want to see a trick? I can do a. I can really do uh, much but a couple of things. Are you ready? Just kidding. I can't do anything after all. If you gave me some time to. Did I scare you? Ah, you're so cute. Uh, anyways, uh, I didn't mean to get distracted. I'm sorry. 
Even though it's your fault for distract what? Shame on you. I'm just kidding. Anything. Anything we do together is fun, as long as it's with you. But anyways, if it takes me some time to collect my thoughts, then I'm sorry. But I'll have some new uh something new to talk about. In the meantime, we can just look into each other's eyes. Let's see. While you're doing that, I'm just going to um Oh, I'll take a little break, so I'll be back. I'm back. I love Yuri, but I hate Natsuki. Oh, I'm sorry about that, dude. And um, welcome in, uh, Ruby. How are you? Welcome, welcome. And we have reached the pretty much the end of this game here, I think. <clears throat> well, I do know, but um, yeah, um, a lot of stuff has happened, a lot, and um, you know. I think pretty much everyone is pretty much done. Uh, actually, make more copies for uh, this one here. So copy. Since you know Monica is being all. Oh wait, am I in the wrong one? Wrong one. Delete. Yes. This one. Yeah, this one. You saw nothing. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's um. Pretty much the ending here. I mean, I could probably, I, I could take this out. It's no problem. But yeah, I like Yuri too. But um, you know the way that things kind of end that out with uh, Yuri doing that to herself. It's uh, well, I mean, I know Monica is the one who did it, and she's trying to like um, have my affection for everything. But just that it's just not working, and I'm just kind of waiting out to see what. Uh, What's in here, you know? Spoiler warning. I don't even know what she said right now. I can't even go to the, uh... I mean, I could try to exit, but... It's only gonna take me back here. See, so, it looks... So, see, if I exit this thing... Exit. Alright. And then I go... Go back again. What just happened? I just had an awful dream. I was hoping those would stop now. Now that it's just the two of us. I guess that was wishful thinking. Silver, I don't know if you would have any idea. But if you know what might be causing that, could you try to do something about it? Whenever it happens, it almost feels like I've been killed or something. It's a really horrible feeling. If you could figure out what's causing that, 
I love you forever. So, yeah, she is fully well known of that. Uh, yeah, that's um, that's Monica for you. So I'm just kind of weighing out, <laughs> seeing anything that um, is here. Did you say? No, I didn't say kiss. Did I? I go back and see what I said. This sounds a little embarrassing, but it's, if it's with you, I might be okay with it. Uh, well, sorry. Uh, I really couldn't keep a straight face there. Uh, that's the kind of thing girls say in these kind of romance games, right? Oh, don't lie if if, if it turned you on a little bit. Uh, I'm kidding. Or are you? Well, to be honest, I do start getting all romantic when the mood is right. But that's that'll be our secret. All right, I, uh, I learned too that she has a lot of stuff to say when you're in this um, purgatory kind of world right now. So I'm just I'm just kind of curious to see what else she has to say. I've already got too curious enough and just exited the game, went back in, and then she says like, "Oh, I felt like I just died right now." Uh, it's gotta be like um, um, something, something, something. Blah 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 blah. I don't know. Do you go to do you get good sleep? Uh, yes, I guess I don't know. It could be really good. To, uh, it can be really hard to get good enough sleep nowadays, especially in high school when you're forced to wake up so early every day. I'm sure college is a little bit better since you'll probably have a more flexible schedule. And then again, I hear a lot of people in colleges stay up all night. Anyways, for no real reason. Is that true? Anyways, I saw some studies that talked about the. Horrible short-term and long-term effects caused by lack of sleep. It seems that mental functions, health, and even lifespan can dramatically impact it. Really? Mm. Just think you're. Uh, I just think you're really great and want to make sure you're not accidentally destroying yourself. Sorry to be your on uh, your sleep on track. Okay. I've always wait for you in the morning, so make sure you put your own well-being before anything else. I. That's. I. I would say that too. You gotta be, you gotta be, oh, it's a good thing to, you know, get some well rest and especially if you're working or if you're at, again, school and stuff and, um, or college or, and, um, yeah, you really need to get some good sleep and all. Also, be sure to, uh, get something to eat and drink. You don't say dehydrate stuff. As I have been reading a lot, <clears throat> I didn't think I even get to the, this part, to be honest. I can't help but wonder how things would be different in the game just uh, give me a route in this first place. True. I think I would end up forcing you onto my route anyways. Ugh. It has less to do with uh, me not having a route and more to do with me knowing that nothing is real. I think the only difference would be differences would be that I may not need to uh, take such a drastic measure to be with you. Maybe the rest of the club would still be around. Not that it really matters. It's all lost to me once I found out it wasn't real. So I really don't miss those days or anything. I really don't. I mean, she's gonna say something else too. Uh, what was she talking about? <clears throat> uh, I, I forgot what she was talking about. I, I'm just, I was just probably just not, I'm, I'm just like almost, not out of it, but I'm just like, my attention is pretty much elsewhere. Do you ever feel like you waste too much time on the internet? You're really going on this round, Monica? Really? <laughs> Social media can practically be like a person. Prison. It's like whenever you have a few seconds of, of spare time, you want to check out your favorite websites. And before you know it, hours have gone by and you've gotten nothing out of it. Anyways, it's really easy to blame yourself for being lazy. But it's not really even your fault. Addiction is, uh, isn't usually something you can just make disappear with your own willpower. I forget addiction is a, th a thing. You have to learn the techniques to avoid it and try different things. For example, 
There are apps that let you block websites for intervals of. That's a weird thing too. I've had to do that my uh, myself. Uh, I had to learn to do that. Um, um, having apps to block uh, amounts of um, time you're on the internet. That, that's, or you can set a timer to have a more const uh, concrete reminder of when it's time to work versus play. Or you can separate your work and play environments, which helps your brain get into more in the right mode. Mm. Even if you make a new user account on your computer to use for work, that's enough to help. Putting any kind of wedge like that between you and your bad habits will help you stay awake. Stay awake. Uh, just remember not to blame yourself too hard if you're having trouble. If it's really, imp uh, is if it's really impacting your life, then you should take it seriously. I just want to see you in the best person you can be. Will you do something today to make me proud of you? I'm always rooting for you. Okay, this is a, okay. So yeah, it's um. I think I, well, no. I mean, there are sometimes I'm always kind of still on apps or whatever, you know, watching videos or reading some stuff. And I mean, on my own time, that that you know, it's fair. I can do that anytime I want. And um, and. Uh, but yeah, again, you know, gotta, it's important to kind of not stay on the, not too, it's addictive too. That's probably what she, uh, Monica was trying to say. It's like a very, very kind of addictive, kind of, eh. You know, it kind of sucks to be the the creative type. It feels like they work so hard, but get almost no, nothing for it. You know, like artists, writers, actors. It's sad because there's so much beautiful talent in the world, but most of it goes unseen and unpaid. I guess that just means that there's a huge uh, surplus of creativity, huh? Kind of makes you feel like you're just not that special at all. But that's fine. You're supposed to just write it for yourself anyways, right? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I could probably look at some stuff while I'm at it while she's, I'm waiting for what she's saying. But, um, okay, so like with jobs, um, there are going to be some, oh, okay. <laughs> I hate how uh, hard it is to form habits. There's so much stuff where, uh, excuse me. There's so much stuff where uh, we're actually doing it isn't so uh, isn't hard, but forming the habit seems impossible. It just makes you feel so useless, like you can't do anything right. I like the new generation suffers from it the most. I think the new generation suffers the most, my bad. Probably because we have a totally different set of skills than those who came before us. Thanks to the internet, we're really good at uh, sifting through tons of information really quickly, but we're bad at doing things that don't give us instant gratifications. I think it's science. if science, psychology, and education don't catch up in the next 10 or 20 years, then we're in trouble. But for the time being, if you're not one of those people who can conquer the problem, you might just have to live with feeling awful about yourself. Good luck, I guess. It's another conversation too I remember just reading too about the uh, internet technology is kind of going much faster and is outpacing some of the old stuff that uh, we used to uh, do before the internet but it's you know it's it's just that it's always gonna be something like that you know but um yeah <laughs> sorry but again how's everyone's day going so far nope another one hold on I was on my phone oh okay she's gonna She's gonna... Okay. Silver, do you believe in God? I was never too sure of myself. Well, I'm not sure... Uh, I'm sure I've never really questioned it as a kid. But as I grew up, as I grew up, the more I learned about the world, the more I would question it. I started to wonder why God was was helping people pass ex exams or get over a cold. When the, there are children who live in their lives being sold as... <laughs> sorry. Or uh, 800 million people who are too poor to even eat. I wonder how many of those people pray to God every day until they starve to die. Or how many millions of uh, families pray for the loved ones to recover from some incurable disease. But the punchline is this. 
If just one person beats the odds and survives, among the thousands of others who die, then is suddenly a miracle from God? I'd really love to meet this God who seems seemingly laughs at the misery of everyone who's not eligible for his miracles. But the irony is that I do have a creator, apparently. And you know what? Everybody's still laughing at this miserable fate of Sayori Yuri, and yet, of, uh, even as we speak. You didn't do anything with Natsuki, that's kind of a... They never met, she never did anything with Natsuki. She was like, a mute, not a mute. Or she didn't even pay attention to Natsuki. It's just more like... I think she probably assumed that most people probably don't like Natsuki, to be honest, I guess. So... You know, Sayori and Yuri were part of like the um, the chopping block for her to get rid uh for her to get rid of them so they can reach us. I think. What are we to him? To but props in a scripted play. So from that perspective, I don't think it's too far fetched from there to be a god if Earth was nothing but his place. Then. So I, I it was kind of a weird thing how she said it too. It's, again, that's it's something I was always thought about too because she always, she was focusing on Sayori and Yuri, but she didn't do anything with Natsuki. So I had to assume like she just knew that um, you know nothing was gonna really happen. Uh, didn't have to worry about Natsuki of us going for them, you know. And I was going all the routes here, right? You know what's a neat form of literature? Rap. I actually used to hate rap music. Maybe just because it was popular or I would only hear the junk they play on the radio. But some of my friends got more into it and it helped me keep an open mind. Rap might even be more challenging than poetry in some ways. Since you need to fit your line into a rhythm and there's much more emphasis on wordplay. When people can't put all, the, all that together and still deliver a powerful message, it's really amazing. You kind of wish I had a proper rapper in a literature club. Uh, proper rapper. Ah, uh, sorry if this sounds silly, but it would be really in interesting to see what they come up with. It would be really a uh, learning experience. F um, this is not the first time I remember hearing something like that in an English class, uh, where uh, teacher slash professor were talking about how rap music was um, very uh, uh, very creative in a way that they uh, they. Uh, form sentences and how it like were put together and you know again with the rhythm and stuff and you know it's actually you know making some kind of something Silver, so, would you ever introduce me to your friends to me i don't know why am i looking weird uh i don't know uh why i get really excited when i think about you uh wanted to show off your uh our relationships like that Maybe it's because I really want to be someone who makes you proud. I feel like I would try extra hard to improve myself. Uh, it, if it, if you told me to, if if you told me it made you proud of me, I hope it's the same the other way around too. Okay, while you're uh, chit chatting, I'm gonna go fix my um, my model. I'm kind of uh, let's see if I can try to get this working here. It should be here. Let me fix this up a bit. Uh, oh, she's reading again. Hold on. Oh, Monica, just give me a second here. Okay. So let me just put this back up, and uh, here we go. There, I'm si I'm fixed. Uh, where am I? I really like how this, the sound of, I, I really like the sound of rain. Not so much getting my clothes and hair wet though, but a nice quiet day at home with the sound of rainfall outside my window. It's one of the most calming experience for me. Yeah, sometimes I imagine you holding me while we listen to the sound of the rain outside. That's not too cheesy or anything, is it? Would you ever do that for me, Silver? Um, I I don't not not you particularly, but I have someone else in mind. Yeah, I'm I'm not gonna elaborate on that more on that one. By the way, there's something else that's been bothering me. 
You know how this takes place in Japan? What? Well, I assume you know that, right? Or at least decided it probably does. Well, I don't think you're actually told at any point where this takes place. Is this even really in Japan? I mean, aren't the classroom and stuff kind of weird for a Japanese school? Not to mention, everything in it is English. I feel like everything is just there just because it needs to be, and the actual setting is in the afterthought. It's kind of giving me an identity crisis. All my memories are really hazy. I feel like I'm at home, but I have no idea where home is in the first place. I don't know how to describe it any better. Imagine looking out your window, but instead of your usual yard, you come in some completely unknown place. Would you still feel like you were home? Would you want to go outside? I mean, I guess if you never leave this room, it doesn't really matter anyways. As long as we're alone and safe together, that this really is our home. And we can still watch the pretty sunsets night after night. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, you're in your, your area where you call your home, so, uh, I guess no matter which, well, I mean, there's, like, surroundings, too, like, where, like, you know some of the places, some spots, like, uh, where to go to eat, or where you do your laundry, or where you need to go to the uh, airport, or, uh, grocery, or clothing shopping, you know, there's like stuff, or the mailbox, there's always places that you're familiar with, or some areas that you know you're not supposed to go there, so you avoid that place, or you probably do go there, because you know that uh, it's not very, you know, well, um, garden, you know, <clears throat> here it is, something really funny once, we were all in a club room, and just relaxing as usual, and out of nowhere, you were just put out a small bottle of wine, I'm not even kidding, she was just like, would anybody like some wine? Not to get laughed out loud, and Siri started yelling at her. I actually felt, I actually felt kind of bad because she was uh, at least trying to be nice. I think it's just made her feel even more reserved in a club, club room. Though I think Natsuki was secretly a bit curious to try it. And to be completely honest, I kind of was too. It actually kind of been, it could, actually could have been kind of fun. But you know, being present and everything, there was no way I could let that happen. Maybe if we all met up outside of school, but we never bonded enough to get to that point. Gosh, what am I talking about this for? I don't even condone underage drinking. I mean, I've never even drank anything, so yeah. You don't, you're not real. You don't exist. Let me exit the house real quick. You're not real. You're back. I had another really bad dream. You're not one doing that thing to me, are you? It seems to happen to me whenever you quit the game. So if you could just try to avoid doing that, I would really be grateful. Don't worry, I don't think it'll cause any harm aside from me scaring. I'll be as fine as you're my as my character file stays intact. Well, there's my there that's my cue. <laughs> that's my cue, but I wanna keep talking. I have my I have the file ready. I have the file ready to 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 um to 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 to, 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 to delete her. But again, okay, I just want to see. There's more stuff. Uh, I gotta keep on. I'm too curious about these stuff. This kind of stuff. I mean, I know there's probably some videos I already have already things piled up. But doing things yourself is kind of like the thing too. You know, you're just you want to see how it you know how it goes, what it's like to do it yourself. You know what I mean? I think most important skill life and, and skill in life is being able to fake confidence. I'm pretty co convinced that everyone feels at least a little bit scared and alone. But being able to trick others into thinking you have it all together, that's a key part of getting people to respect and admire you. I think I got pretty good at that over the years. I don't show my weakness very often. But because of that, I haven't had many people I could really open up to. I mean, when do you reach the point in a friendship where you can start expressing your vulnerabilities? Anyways. That's one reason why I'm so glad I have you now. I feel like I'm a little bit less scared and alone when you're here with me. Do you feel the same way? I really want to be that person for you. Okay, so while you uh, give your um, you know tidbits, I'm just gonna keep on uh, doing some stuff here. Frick. 
Would I not, uh... Hmm. I think I have some muted. Let me check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep, no dialogue. What do you want? Hey, you remember the last one I showed you? I mean, the one right before you, uh... With all the messed up colors and stuff? Yeah, yeah, I was wondering about that. What was that about? That was actually a little more of an experiment than a poem, you could say. I was experimenting with different ways I could modify the game and run code and things like that. It almost seemed like with enough effort, I'm able to, I'll be able to escape from the confines of the game entirely. Sadly, I didn't really know what I was doing, so I messed up the whole thing up. And I keep trying, but I doubt you want to deal with me doing that again. Besides, that was when I was getting really desperate, you know? I don't really feel that way anymore. I'm happy with where we are now. And I can tell you are too. Uh, I mean, I am still here. I'm just... Okay, I'm just too curious, alright? I'm just... I've already exited the game like two or three times. And she already caught me exiting the game twice. So... I don't know. I'm just, I'm just again, just still more wondering about, you know, all this stuff. I'm just kind of biding my time and stuff. I know there are times when, uh, times you won't always be able to be here with me. Like, if you need to go out or take care of other things. But I'll always have you in my thoughts, patiently waiting for you to come back. Come think of it. If you copy my character file on a flash drive or something, you can always keep part of me with you. I guess it's kind of an unorthodox, but I find it really romantic for some reason. Ah, uh, sorry, that's such a silly idea. I don't mean to be uh, ne too needy or anything, but it's kind of hard when I'm so in love with you. Yeah, you know what? Let me just... I'm gonna copy you. And uh, put you somewhere. I could probably put it... Here? Paste? There you are. Okay. Yeah, I kept a copy now. Oh, no, I didn't mean to exit the file. I need the files. Where is it? Okay, there it is. You distracted me! <laughs> Monica, you distracted me! <laughs> you know what's kind of creepy? That you're making me do things that I didn't know. I, uh, that... <sighs> Even though I deleted everyone else's file, I can still kind of feel them. It's like all their lines are still lingering in the air, whispering in the back of my head. Imagine if, if someone, ever, uh, someone you knew died, you just started hearing their voice in your head. Maybe I just want, wasn't thorough enough, but I'm too afraid to delete anything because I might really be break things. Like if I mess things with any files relevant to me, I might accidentally delete myself. And that would ruin everything, wouldn't it? I don't know what it's like on your end, but we should both make sure to avoid something like that at all costs. I believe in you. Okay, I'm, I'm remembering what happened now. Where if I keep on, um, if I keep on exiting the game too many times then she's pretty much just stuck there and just will not talk to me anymore I remember that I think I remember that part in some other ways but that's one thing I remember too so I gotta be careful that I don't uh, get to that part sometimes I think back to middle school I'm so embarrassed by the way I used to behave back then it's almost a hurts to think about it I wonder if she uh, if when I'm in college I feel that way about high school I, feel, I like the way I am now, so it's pretty hard for me to imagine that happening. But I also know that I'll probably change as the time goes on. We just need to enjoy the present and not think about the past. And really, that's really easy to do with you here. <laughs> I'll give you like maybe another. 10 or 20 minutes and then I'll probably um, go off in a uh, deleting spree. Uh, uh, it's really important to stretch. Uh, uh. Alright. Uh, okay. Do you ever just feel like there's no one real, real reason for you to be alive? What? I don't mean it like in a suicidal way. I just mean how nothing that we do is special. Just being in school, working at some job for some company it's like you're completely replaceable and that and the world wouldn't miss you if you were gone it makes me really want to go and change the world after I graduate but the older I get the more I realize that is an immature frame of thinking it's not like I could just go and change the world 
Like, what are the chances that I'll be the one to invent artificial intelligence or become president? It feels like I'm never going to make up for the he heaps of resources I spent living my life. That's why I think the key to happiness is just to be hopelessly selfish. Just to look out for oneself and those who happen to be their friends only because they grew up with them. Never mind the fact that they've spent their entire life taking and consuming and never giving back. But when the poor re people realize the world would never benefit more from them uh, ending themselves in Minecraft, uh, they change their whole philosophy. It's like they haven't have to justify the reason to be alive, tricking themselves into thinking they're doing something good. Anyways, I want to live my life desperately, striving to pay back my lifetime's worth of consumption. If I ever surpass that point, then I'm at net positive. Then I could die happy. Of course, in Minecraft. Even if I fail to do that, I think I would be too selfish uh, to end myself in Minecraft anyways. So much for being a good person, right? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> Wait, I thought. I, hmm. Sorry, I'm actually looking at something right now. I thought uh, someone was still um, going, but I don't see them anymore. How long were they? What were they doing? Oh, I guess it was pretty much over. Like, I'm looking at something else too, right? <laughs> More dialogues? Hey, you know that book that you were reading with Yuri? Sort of. Portrait of whatever it was called? Portrait of Petrikov? It's funny because I'm pretty sure that book... Uh, actually, I don't think I should be talking about this. <laughs> Sorry. Just forget I said anything. That's another... Like... Another tidbit or something about that book. I don't know. I think it was a, I think it was a real book. I don't know. What was it? Portrait of Mat Petrikov? I'm going to look it up. Portrait of Petrikov. I'm spelling the name wrong, but uh, probably I'll correct something. Per no, not Perikov. Petrikov. Hold on, I'm looking at Petrikov right now. Okay, Petrikov. Mm. Oh, I'm too lazy. <laughs> you know, it's around the time that everyone must, uh, my year starts to think about college. It's really a turbulent time for education. We're at the height of the mis uh, this modern expectation that everyone has to go to college, you know? Finish high school, go to college, get a job, or go to grad school. I guess. It's like a universal expectation that people would just assume it's the only option for them. They don't teach us in high school that there are other options out there, like trade schools and stuff, you know? Or freelance work. Or the many industries that value skills experience more than formal education. But you have all these students who have no idea what they want to do with their life. And instead of taking the time to figure it out, they go to college for business or communication or psychology. Not because they have an interest in those fields, but because they just hope the degree will get them some kind of job after college. So the end result is that there are fewer jobs to go around for those entry-level degrees, right? So the basic job requirements get higher, with, uh, which forces even more people to go to college. And colleges are also business, so they just keep raising their prices due to the demand. So now we have all these young adults, tens of thousands of dollars in debt, with no job. But despite all that, the routine stays the same. Well, I think it's going to start getting better soon. But until then, our generation is definitely suffering from the worst of it. It just wish the school prepared for us a little bit better with the knowledge we need to make the decision the right for us. That's right for us. Woo! Reading. Who read? <laughs> yawning, yawning. <sighs> Sorry, I'm yawning. Me, 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 me. I could probably close my eyes. Let me check. I think she's talking. Yeah. <clears throat> Alright, let me just get myself up. How much do you read? How much do you read? It's way too easy to neglect reading books. 
if you don't read much, it's almost feel like you're it's like a chore compared to all the other entertainments you have, we have. But once you get into a good book, it's like magic. You get swept away. I think doing some reading before bed every night is a pretty easy way to make your life a little bit better. It helps you get a good sleep, and it's really good for your imagination. It's not hard at all. Just pick some random book that's short and captivating. Before you know it, you might be a pretty avid reader. Wouldn't that be wonderful? And the two of us could talk about the latest books you're reading. That sounds super amazing. Right, 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 right. Anything happen here? Let me check. Uh, I'm getting hungry too. Uh. I'm gonna have to uh, do your file soon. Okay, let's. I think one more dialogue should do it, and then I could just, you know, try to get to the game. I've always wondered what is this about these characters' archetypes that people find so appealing, anyways? Their personalities are just completely unrealistic. Like, imagine if there was some uh, someone like Yuri in real life. I mean, she's barely even capable of forming a complete sentence. And forget about Natsuki. Sheesh. Someone with her kind of personality doesn't just get all cute and po pouty whenever things don't go her way. I could go on, but I think you get the point. Are people really attracted to these weird personalities that, I, that literally don't exist in real life? I'm not judging or anything. After all, I found myself attracted to some pretty weird stuff too. I'm just saying, it, it fascinates me. It's like uh, you're siphoning out of all the components of a character that makes them feel human and leaving just the cute stuff. It, it's concentrated cuteness with no actual substance. You wouldn't like me more if I was like that, right? Maybe I just feel a little insecure because you're playing this game in the first place. Then again, you're still here with me, aren't you? I think that's enough for me to reason to believe that, it, that I'm okay with the way I am. And by the way, you are too, Silver. You're the perfect combination of human and cuteness. I'm gonna have to delete you after this. That's why that that uh, that's why there was never a chance I would fall for you. Okay, I'm gonna do okay. One more attempt. I'm gonna exit this game and then see if anything happens. Hi Silver, I see you quit the game on me again. I know I asked you already, but can you seriously please try not to do so much? It makes me feel like I'm trapped in hell. Why would you want me to do, do that to me? There's nothing wrong with my character file, right? Maybe you should make it back up or something. I'm pretty sure you can find it in a folder called... You read my... my files? You read my files! Well, you're playing on Steam, so you can just go into the game's property and find the browser for local files buttons. I'm all I'm all that's left here, so I just want to make sure you don't run the risk of losing me. Just stay here with me for now on, okay? I'm still I still have a lot of things to talk about. Okay. Just one more dialogue and after that is done, okay? Just it's done. One more dialogue. You get one more dialogue. Okay? Alright? Alright, Monica? Okay, Monica? That's it, it's just one more, one more file. You know, this is just some kind of tacky romance game, right? I kind of have to ask, what made you consider even playing this in the first place? Uh, Valentine's Day. At first, and then it went to being, uh, Halloween. So, you know, there's like, there's two and two put together. So I have, I had all this overlay stuff already set up. Like all this stuff already, you know, here and I have all this already here too. So yeah, everything is pretty much like set, you know. You know what? Hold on, I want to do something real quick before she does anything else. Uh, let me just do this real quick. Clear shot. No, I can't do it. Shoot. Maybe some other time, but I just want to get a clear shot. But um. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing a little bunch of these stuff here with these overlays, so... I was already pretty much prepared for this, uh, Monica. I was already prepared for this thing. Again, from Valentine's Day to Halloween. Were you that lonely? 
totally, totally missed my point, Monica. I feel that a little bit bad for you. Okay, now you're... Okay. But I guess everything worked out perfectly in the end. For both of us. I got to meet you, and you're not alone, lonely anymore. I can't help but feel like this was fate. Don't you feel that way too? I'm so happy we have this ending together. Goodbye. That was the last straw, Monica. What's happening? What What's happening to me? It hurts. It hurts so much. Help me. Please, hurry and help me. Can I? Oh yeah, look at this thing. Dude. A wallpaper. Let's go. Or a new background or something. Let's freaking go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm going to use this one. <laughs> this looks cool. I like it. I feel like I want to use this. I'm going to wait until it reaches like a, um, a cycle here. Hold on. Just give me a moment here. 